action. Bahamas? Axel Par? Let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode with the Yacht Tender Guy. I'm Alejandro. And I'm Adrian. And we're brothers united by blood and our passion for boating. And we want to welcome... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all jokes aside, for those of you that are new to the channel, I work for Nautical Ventures. Uh, we are a marine dealership and we sell 20 different brands of boats and a variety of water toys, uh, yacht toys primarily. We started this YouTube channel about a year and a half ago. Uh, we try to get out on as many boats as possible, either new or used boats I have for sale. Adrian helps me a lot with camera work and editing. We've come a long way. A year ago, we didn't think we were gonna be in Bahamas right now in an Axel Park shooting this, but we were able to do it. This has been a dream of mine since I started working for this company. Chilling right now in the cross cabin with the AC cranking and just soaking up the Bahamas views. So how did this trip come about? I mean, we've always talked about wanting to come to the Bahamas. How did we finally yeah, manage so, to make that happen? So this was very last minute. Marine Max, uh, which is another big dealership that we work closely with, they had a customer's rendezvous event over here this weekend. And they asked us if we wanted to participate in basically bringing and displaying all of our toys. Um, so obviously the only way to do that, we have to transport all the toys over here. And what better transport vehicle than the ultimate SUV of the seas. And guys, we fit a lot of toys. This wasn't the Axel part, this was the Axel Mule. You should have seen how this thing was loaded to the teeth. <laughs> A couple weeks ago, I was in Exuma vlogging a uh, sailing trip that I did with my wife and her family. Probably already released a trailer for that. If you haven't checked it out, make sure to do so. I'll leave the link in the description below. Thanks for the invite, by the way. Yeah, Alejandro's still a little bit bitter that he didn't get invited, so he was like, dude, let's like, let's go. You can't be posting a video in the Bahamas without me, so three weeks later, here we are on an axle part, and it's a completely different experience. I mean, sailing is awesome, but just the fact that you're able to island hop in 20 minutes or so, that was something else. It was my first time crossing over from Florida. It, Alejandro has done it before, but this was your first time captaining, so tell us a little bit about how that was. Yeah, it was my first time captaining the boat. I was a little bit nervous at first, just because in general, I'm exploring new territories that I don't really know. We prepared properly. We made sure we had our navigation system accurate and up-to-date. We had all of our emergency systems, uh, backup VHF radios, EPIRBs. We have a bunch of inflatable toys and paddle boards. So in the, in the event that we were to go down, we know that we have uh, secondary vessels that can- Sufficient su buoyancy on board. Exactly. Yeah. A little bit of the recap of the trip. We were at the marina at 6 a.m. Uh, 6.30 was lines off. We did probably 30 miles an hour coming in. Uh, we were, I don't know, going in anywhere between 27 to 33. Uh, every once in a while it was a little bit rough. We did have the cabin doors closed, we had the AC on, and it was pretty sweet. Everybody was nice and comfy. So it looks like we are a little over a quarter of the way there. It's definitely three to fours. Uh, a lot of winds from the east. We close the doors, we have the AC on, and we're just cruising right now. Uh, we're doing roughly 30 miles an hour. We're burning about 26 gallons per hour at that speed. We have the tabs buried, so we're keeping that bow nice and deep makes it a little bit more of a comfortable ride. Yeah, I gotta and say, this is pretty, it's just like being in a car, pretty much. Not getting wet at all, so yeah. you got the AC in. Yeah, I would not want to be outside right now. right now. How's everybody doing back there? Good? Yeah. Cozy? Comfy? Yeah. Dry? Yes. There we go. At least you're dry, John. Hey, Alec. Yeah. Guess what? What? I just checked YouTube, and we finally made it to 1,000 subs. Really? Yeah. 
Fuck yeah. Man, it took a year in the making, but really appreciate all your support, guys. This is definitely motivating us to really keep putting more content. We're definitely trying new things with this, more of a vlogging type of format. Um, let us know in the comments below what you guys think. This is pretty sweet, man. Of course, man. It's Thursday morning and we're on our way to the Bahamas. Yeah. You know, when we started this a year ago, that was always like the whole plan, you know? We started with a little little tender video that, that you made and I edited for you and then, you know, you kept selling more and more boats and they let you take out bigger and bigger boats and, you know, it's it's been really cool, really cool ride. Yeah. So we got the yacht tender captaining the boat and then we also got Elliot, the flight board guy. He's going to be riding on some toys, demoing them a lot in this trip. Yeah, so that's, that's the cool thing about uh, this trip is the fact that we have all the goodies from Nautical Ventures and we have all the water toy guys in the back. But yeah, you know it's serious when you can't see any land either yep. on either side. We can't see Fort Lauderdale for sure and we still can't see Bahamas, but we probably have about an hour and a half left. So yeah, we're just gonna keep pushing. We have a good speed, uh, good fuel burn. And yeah, we'll see you guys closer to the Bahamas. All right, looks like we got some rain. Yep. Still nice and dry inside the cross cabin. Yep. But the seas are picking up a little bit more and more. Still, we're doing still it's pretty much the same speed. But no, it's just a bit of a cloud. It looks like we're going to get through it right now. There's two storms and we're cutting it like right in the middle between both of them. But it's all good. We have the radar up. Uh, we still have some good visibility. So I'm not worried. But yeah, man, I definitely, this is, the cool factor of getting the cross cabin. After clearing the storm, we entered Bahamian waters and it was time to hoist the quarantine flag. All right, so we are about three miles from the shoreline. So what we're gonna do now is put up our yellow flag, which will basically indicate the Bahamian government that we are entering and that we need to do customs. A few minutes later, we were finally entering Bimini. All right, so we are kind of, yeah, we made it. We we're made kind it. of officially in Resorts World already. Uh, we're headed to our marina, which is Mega Marina. So now we have to contact the dock masters and see what our slip assignment is so that then I can get out of the boat and go ahead and clear customs for everybody on the boat. So I'm working through it. The most interesting part was obviously the customs and immigration because usually when I've been here before, it's only the captain that's allowed to go and uh, clear everybody on the boat. Um, so in this case, I was the captain. It took me probably 30 minutes. We arrived at Mega Marina at Resorts World in the Hilton. And then I basically just took a quick walk over to Fisherman's Village, checked in in the customs office and then immigration. And the, that was it. They gave us the, the clear. We were able to take out our yellow flag and off we were. After checking in, we had some downtime to relax before happy hour. The next morning, we got up early to head out to Honeymoon Harbor. All right, guys, it is Friday morning. It's day two for us. Uh, today, the plan is Honeymoon Harbor. So I'm excited about this. It's a little beach area that's a few miles uh, south. We are waiting right now for basically one of the other boats that are uh, it's coming with us. Uh, it's a 35-foot Boston Whaler. We're waiting for them to load up, and then that way we can head all together down to Honeymoon Harbor. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. We have all the toys loaded up. Z-Bops, light boards, chiller bikes, clipses, yeah, aquabanas, yeah, yeah, should be fun, should be fun. things that we've always wanted to shoot a lot um, but we never really had much of the opportunity was to fe do a video featuring toys and man this video we got yeah. some, we got all the toys yeah. with us so yesterday at honeymoon harbor i saw you wiping out on the on the wave shark how is that like and the flight board as well yeah so the flight board ah it's hard it was it wasn't the ideal conditions obviously to to do it especially for the first time but i was able to get it up 
um, but it's it's hard. It's different because it's uh, I'm just not used to it. I'm used to wakeboarding and snowboarding, and it's a, a different feel to it. But the wave shark is a lot of fun. It also wasn't really flat out. You did you picked the worst conditions pretty much to. Uh, but to it, was, it was. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Honeymoon Harbor was a little bit uh, uh, protected, but still it was choppy. You know, it's been choppy this entire week. So now what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the beach. We're gonna relax a little bit before we head back to Fort Lauderdale. It's looking rough, man, but you know, well, we are nice and enclosed. We'll take our time. We'll have to clear customs there also when we get there. So I believe we just uh, dock in and then go to the nearest uh, Customs and Border Patrol office, which I believe is in Fort Lauderdale as well, near the port. We actually got boarded by the Coast Guard and Border Patrol on our way home. I'm guessing they got suspicious when we were the only ones crossing back in rough weather. Comment below if you'd like to see a video on what that experience is like. Uh, no. Eh. Vlogging is not easy. Like, yeah. It's um, not. Um, I'd never vlogged before until that trip to. Oh my to god, Exuma. your fucking trip to Exuma. Uh, yeah, guys, I was in Exuma oh last week. And if you haven't checked it out. It's inmamable, bro. It's inmamable. You can clearly tell we're brothers, man. We just <laughs> love arguing all the time. I'll be surprised if I don't jump overboard on the way there. <laughs> See you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.